The film narrates the tale of Casey Bowman, a man residing in a martial arts training center in Japan, overseen by Takeda Sensei. Through his dedication and aspiration to master Bushido, Casey earns the admiration of his sensei and his daughter Namiko. As he undergoes training with Namiko, a connection between them becomes evident. Takeda Sensei notices this and advises them to set aside their emotions and concentrate fully. Sensei imparts some wisdom on martial arts training, emphasizing the importance of maintaining composure and clarity when facing adversaries in combat. That night, Takeda Sensei unveils a chest containing a Yoroi Bitsu, an ancient ninja attire and weapon handed down through generations by his sensei. Ninjas originated as hired agents in the 15th century, serving as spies, raiders, arsonists, and even terrorists. Samurai adhered to a code of conduct and were expected to engage in open combat or duels with a sense of ceremony and propriety. Ninjas were skilled in martial arts and often utilized poison for coercion, having the power to dictate life or death. Upon Takeda's passing, another of his students will inherit both his position and the Yoroi Bitsu. Takeda Sensei then assembled all his students in the dojo, announcing Keisei and Masazuka as the top students. However, only one of them must demonstrate their worthiness to inherit the Yoroi Bitsu. Upon hearing this, Masazuka appears to contest being compared to Keisei, viewing himself as superior. Masazuka harbors a deep resentment towards Keisei, exacerbated by Namiko's close relationship with him. Keisei was brought to the dojo as an infant after being abandoned by his parents, but managed to excel as one of Takeda's most outstanding students. Subsequently, Masazuka and Casey continue their rigorous training and observe each other closely. Casey consistently completes his training last, capturing the attention of many. The following day, a showdown awaits them to determine the superior student, with Masazuka attempting to manipulate Casey's emotions by mocking his past. Takeda Sensei intervenes between them, cautioning Masazuka about the repercussions of his actions. Shortly after, Takeda Sensei organizes a sparring match, instructing Casey and Masazuka to face off against each other. Fueled by hatred and jealousy towards Casey, Masazuka launches a vicious attack on him without hesitation. Despite Takeda Sensei's attempts to intervene, Masazuka, consumed by anger, disregards his sensei's words and persists in assaulting Casey. Masazuka nearly fatally wounds Casey by aiming his katana directly at his chest, but Casey manages to defend himself by blocking the attack. In self-defense, Casey inflicts a wound under Masazuka's right eye. As a consequence of his grave misconduct, Masazuka is ultimately expelled from the dojo by Takeda Sensei. Disgruntled by his sensei's decision, Masazuka vows to seek vengeance against all members of the dojo. Years later, in New York, at the Temple Industries plant, a clandestine organization known as The Ring holds a ceremony to initiate new members. Prospective members officially join the group once the group symbol is imprinted on their chests. In Russia, two prominent figures from the country's top corporations find themselves in conflict with the ring. They face imminent execution at the hands of a lethal ninja, none other than Masazuka. Operating as a mercenary for the ring, Masazuka effortlessly eliminates the Russians involved in the dispute. Meanwhile, at the Koga Dojo under Takeda Sensei's leadership, he gathers all his students to unveil the Yoroi Bitsu, a revered artifact entrusted to him during his three-decade tenure as Sok or Grandmaster. With the time to pass on the treasure to the next generation arriving, Masazuka suddenly appears. Asserting his claim as the next Grandmaster at the Koga Dojo, Masazuka is met with Takeda Sensei's refusal. In response, Masazuka issues threats, warning of the consequences of denying him the title. Anticipating an assault by Masazuka, Takeda Sensei assigns Casey and Namiko the task of safeguarding the Yoroi Bitsu. Takeda Sensei believes that only Casey, with his pure heart, can protect both his daughter and the sacred artifact. In summary, Casey and Namiko successfully transport the Yoroi Bitsu to New York, where they securely store the chest in the vault of Triborough University, aided by Professor Garrison, a close friend of Takeda Sensei. In his laboratory, Masazuka prepares for the impending attack while Takeda Sensei meditates, anticipating his arrival. Meanwhile, Casey enjoys lunch with Professor Garrison, oblivious to the unfolding events. He recounts his journey to the dojo, leaving the professor impressed. In Japan, Masazuka launches his assault on the dojo during the evening, 
systematically eliminating each student. After dispatching every fighter, he faces off against his teacher, Takeda Sensei. Unaware that Casey and Namiko have hidden the Yoroi Bitsu in New York, Masazuka attempts to kill Takeda Sensei to claim the supposed treasure, which is actually an empty container. Realizing he can't defeat his sensei fairly, Masazuka resorts to darkness and night vision goggles. Takeda Sensei relies on his other senses, but Masazuka strikes with poison. Despite administering the antidote and demanding the Yorai Bitsu, Takeda Sensei expresses regret for welcoming Masazuka into the dojo. Morally shattered, Masazuka kills Takeda Sensei. Meanwhile, Namiko tries to reach her father at the dojo but receives no response. Just as Masazuka is about to leave, he notices a call from Paul Garrison on Takeda Sensei's phone. He discovers that the treasure is in New York and promptly reaches out to the ring to locate Paul Garrison's whereabouts. Meanwhile, our main character, now in New York, investigates the whereabouts of his mother's friend. Upon visiting her last known address, he learns of her recent passing due to a stroke. Returning to Professor Garrison's residence, he shares the news with Namiko. Concurrently, Masazuka, already aware of their location, dispatches his thugs to eliminate them. In addition to Casey and Namiko, Professor Garrison and his family become targets of Masazuka's wrath. Despite the intense danger, Master Takeda's students valiantly defend the Yoroi Bitsu. Through a stroke of luck, Casey and Namiko survive the ambush. They flee and take refuge in an inn. While watching television, they are stunned by a news report accusing them of murdering Professor Garrison and his family, making them fugitives. Namiko suggests seeking help from the police, but Casey fears they would be apprehended, allowing Masazuka to seize the Yoroi Bitsu. Hence, they must swiftly find a hiding spot for the treasure. The next morning, Casey wakes up alone, growing anxious as he searches for Namiko downstairs, eventually finding her. While the cafe owner prepares coffee, he spots Casey and Namiko's faces in the newspaper, appearing disturbed. Casey notices the man's agitation and observes two mercenaries outside. Once again, the ring's thugs launch an assault. Casey and Namiko swiftly overpower the intruders and flee onto the streets, only to encounter another group of assailants hot on their heels. Seeking refuge, they duck into the subway, attempting to blend in with the crowd. The pursuers scour each train car, culminating in a brawl amidst numerous passengers. Despite being outnumbered, Casey and Namiko's extensive dojo training enables them to emerge victorious against the assailants. However, as they evade Masazuka's henchmen and disembark from the train, they are promptly ambushed by the police and taken to the station for interrogation. Despite recounting their encounter with Masazuka, the officers remain skeptical of their story. Meanwhile, Masazuka visits the ring headquarters to inquire about Casey and Namiko's whereabouts. Learning they are at the police station and the Yoroi Bitsu remains elusive, he flies into a rage, executing the head henchman as a warning to the others. Determined to locate Casey and Namiko, he infiltrates the police station disguised as Namiko's lawyer and sabotages the power supply, allowing him to eliminate several officers in the ensuing darkness. Namiko is escorted outside by officers, but they are slain and she is rendered unconscious. Meanwhile, Casey, bound to the table, manages to shatter it and liberate himself. Making his way into the corridor, he encounters the lifeless bodies of the officers. At one juncture, he crosses paths with some agents who command him to lie down. But suddenly, Masazuka makes an appearance. Amid the pandemonium, Casey intervenes to save a policeman from Masazuka's gunfire, resulting in Masazuka abducting Namiko. Realizing Casey's innocence, the officer releases him, shaken by the unfolding events. Masazuka holds Namiko captive, pressuring her to divulge the location of the Yoroi Bitsu. He discloses to Namiko that he annihilated his father and the entire dojo membership due to their alleged betrayal. Armed with information about Masazuka from one of the assailants, Casey infiltrates Temple Industries. Engaging in a fierce confrontation with the ring's henchmen, he apprehends their leader. Extracting Masazuka's phone number from the company's president, Masazuka, Casey initiates contact with him. They strike a deal wherein Casey agrees to trade the Yoroi Bitsu for Namiko's safety, scheduling a rendezvous for later that evening. Casey hurries to the university to retrieve the treasure. Locating the Yoroi Bitsu, he dons a ninja attire and equips himself. 
He meticulously follows the ritual as per the protocol. Meanwhile, Masazuka instructs his men to eliminate both Casey and Masazuka. Later, Masazuka heads straight to the construction site designated by Casey. Upon his arrival, Casey instructs him to release Namiko while lowering the chest. Masazuka's fury flares up upon discovering the empty chest of the Yoroi Bitsu being lowered from the crane. Shortly after, Casey, adorned in the Yoroi Bitsu, confronts Masazuka. As the duo prepares for the ultimate showdown, members of the ring ambush them on the leader's command. Masazuka, Casey, and Namiko engage in combat against the henchmen, emerging victorious without sustaining any injuries. Namiko exhibits remarkable archery skills, utilizing the bow stored in the Yoroi Bitsu. Following the successful defeat of the entire ring army, Masazuka and Casey engage in a fierce battle. The antagonist employs a blowpipe to launch a poison arrow at Namiko, while provoking Casey with the antidote bottle. The two engage in a fierce battle, during which Masazuka unintentionally drops the antidote bottle, provoking Casey's anger. As the NYPD helicopter illuminates the scene, Masazuka employs a ninjutsu technique to blind Casey with the katana's glare before vanishing. To counter the attack, Casey employs the same technique as his sensei, relying on his other senses to retaliate and fatally wounds Masazuka. Hastily, Casey rushes to Namiko, devastated by Masazuka's disposal of the antidote, but recalls his sensei's teachings. Remembering that the ninja katana possesses both lethal and healing powers, Casey discovers the antidote concealed in Masazuka's katana handle. Within moments, the antidote effectively neutralizes the poison, saving Namiko's life. Before departing, Casey honorably ends Masazuka's life. The following day, a police officer informs Casey and Namiko of their acquittal of the murder charges and the successful arrest of the secret group's leader, resulting in the ring's permanent dismantlement. Returning their passports, the agent advises them to leave New York. Casey and Namiko return to Japan to pay tribute to their late sensei and resume overseeing the Koga Dojo while safeguarding the Yoroi Bitsu. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to watch more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you again soon. Take care.